Kelly here. We're going to talk about how I add holes to my cut files so that I can either chain stitch or straight stitch. I'm doing this sample with a cut file by Paige Taylor Evans. It's the nested butterflies. So cute. I'm just going to use the big butterfly and so I'm just going to move the other ones off my mat. Just select them all and move them or even erase them. I like to work in the center of my mat, so I use that tool, the transition tool, and the crosshair is over the circle that puts your item in the center. If you're ever wanting to um, make a cut file a specific size, especially if you're making cards, you can use the same tool, but the second option, it's got arrows on either side, and there I made it six by six. Now I may or may not want to do that, but I just wanted to show you how it's done. I'm going to change it from color to transparent just so you can see where the lines appear when I use the offset feature. And we're going to do an internal offset and that'll just create another line inside the butterfly. I like to put it at point one zero when I want to use it for stitching holes. You can use that toggle or I like to use the arrows on the side. You can move it up, move it down. And once you've got your line where you want it, just drag the um, original cut file off the mat while you work with the offset. And again, I'm gonna put it in the center of the mat and the way you make the holes is with your stipple feature where this is how I do it there may be other ways so you just check off at the top stipple the edge and move the toggle all the way over to the right and that'll make them the right distance for your stitching now that's not a cut file yet so we're going to um, select our trace feature just like you were creating a cut file from something you got from free from a website and so we're going to trace it erase the ones we don't want and again put our cut file which is now um, stippled dots in the center of the mat move the original in the center of the mat and now they're spaced exactly where you need them and we're going to group them so now you've got your cut file which stitched holes for stitching. You can make it bigger, make it smaller, and um, your stitching will look perfect on your project, card or layout. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.